privilege is not intended for just anyone. This place is strictly forbidden to all but those who ground down represents the golem. Yeah, ground down represents the golem in Hebrew myth. Or the old um, Kyogre represents the Leviathan of Old Testament, which was a actually a giant whale. Funny enough, that kept people from uh, traversing the deep sea. Also, before I continue, I restocked on my soda, and you know what that means. I just opened my soda with proper fizz, motherfucker. Don't you even. I'm about to shake it. Hold on, let me get it. Chat, this is a food crime to the highest degree. I, I say he gets prosecuted in the highest court of the land. It's going over your head. Oh, well, the Nora is what they used to, uh, to, to celebrate Hanukkah with. You light all seven candles for all seven days that a light stay that the lights stay burning, keeping the uh, Jewish soldiers alive. I think I'm probably wrong, but I'm pretty sure it's what Hanukkah is. Blows them out, kills every soldier. Jesus, bro. What? Any Jews in the chat? Say what? If I'm right, give me a W if I'm correct. We're not correct somehow. Usually, that and if you have no one working, then they're not getting paid. And if they're not getting paid, they're not spending. And if they're not spending, your company will go bust. It just doesn't work with our current economy. It doesn't work with any economy because at the end of the day, that, money needs to be flowing. Technically, it works with social. But you already know nothing works with socialism. Socialism isn't a bad isn't a bad thing unless you're like. France is socialist, and they're decent. But, uh, besides the odd rebellion every now and again. But anyway, is the one we have been socialism isn't bad unless you take it way too far and you become like a Nazi and or a uh, communist. It's good in concept, but in practice, people tend to fuck it up. Pretty much. And that's the thing with communism as well. Good in concept, bad at execution. Me and my brother had an idea to start the first United States Socialist Party, but we don't have the funding for that. <laughs> Shut the fuck up. No, we did! We seriously did, dude. When? This was like a few years ago. We never tried it. We had the idea to do it. Why, though? We were bored. <laughs> That's why. Fucking moron. U.S. Socialism Party 2024, bitches! Christ. I have to put, like, a big old like... <laughs> I'm gonna need to put on, like, a big Dude. old disclaimer on the screen. We do not support any sort of socialism. Please do not undersubscribe, please. Dude, you know what would be really funny? When I put, like, a thing up, like, put a graphic up that says Socialism 2024 when I say that. <laughs> no! Like, in the editing. Please! That'd be really funny. Yeah, but I'm too, I'm too lazy. You know, I'm fucking around, right? I'm not actually a socialist. I know. Funny. I know. But it'd be really fucking. I, I know. I know. It's just the fact that there are people that take your shit seriously. That's the problem. Oh, like people think we take politics seriously. We're making jokes about people wearing ear bandages to Donald Trump's rallies. Yeah. Free diving. Yeah. The what? The one? The one sperm cell raises for the uterus. You're not wrong. The demon uterus. And give birth to Lucifer, or the arch, the arch, arch devil. Or uh. So a lot of people are saying like Lucifer is getting like be this like really threatening force later on has been hotel. I think he might die, honestly. Speaking of, actually, speaking of Hasbin, apparently got renewed for four seasons. I heard six, but... Let's hope they're actually gonna give characters time to actually do a bit. Maybe. You never know. Because I feel like they're not going to, because God knows. They made all their plots just, like, end in one episode, and it was annoying. Yeah, like, I... oh, Lucifer's depressed. One episode later, I'm not depressed anymore. I have a feeling that season because of the they probably weren't expecting to get that many seasons, so they just wanted to tie up. Fuck! 
That sucks. Oh, I forgot. For some weird fuck. What did you do? My USB storage has been fucking up recently, and I don't know why. I'm mad. Something's corrupt. No, it didn't corrupt. Is it the cable, maybe? I think it's the cable. It has to be. He's saying it wasn't removed properly. He didn't say it crashed. We are now experiencing technical difficulties. Please stand by while Shinigami strips naked for your viewing pleasure. Just has my thing flopping around. <laughs> you just put a fucking thing of yourself on screen completely butt naked. Oh yeah, Clock Tower is also a goodie. Speaking of the remastering Clock Tower, um, I think it was... Uh... Wait, for the US? Usually Spike Chunsoft's like us Americans go fuck ourselves. No, it wasn't guys. Spike Chun it wasn't Spike Chunsoft that made it, it was someone else. Are you sure? No, um Clock Tower was made by a different dev. So I know they referenced it in Danganronpa 2 and said yeah, they didn't it's, make it. It's a reference. They didn't make it though. It's a reference then. Because the studio that made it went bankrupt. Oh, it was asking or tanking. Yeah, and essentially the person the people that are remaking it are the Shantae guys, aka Way forward. Oh wait, no, it was Human Entertainment. They made it. They were uh, a thing in the '83, and then they went bankrupt in 2000. Yeah, and they they're remastering the original Clock Tower, which I'm gonna play it on PC because I just feel like the way it's meant to be played. And then their dev spun off into different companies that were Nude Maker, Sandlot, Spike, Grasshopper Manufacturing. Wait, one of them split up to Grasshopper? Apparently, I don't know who they are. Dude, they're the guys that made No More Heroes! Really? Yeah, Grasshopper. NetEase owns Grasshopper? That's terrifying. Oh, boy. Uh, yeah, um... Yeah, No More Heroes. And there's also a personal horror game I want to play on oh, stream, right. Evil Within. That is... Ooh, rest in peace, Tango. Uh, that is my personal favorite horror game. I don't give a fuck what anyone says, because I love the 2000s horror vibe it has. All that Chainsaw came out in 2012? I thought that came out in like 2008. No, it came out in 2010. Or 2012. Really? They're remaking it. And no, it's not getting censored. It's just a full-on remaster. That's what it is. It's like a port to- it's not a, it's not a remake like you think it is. It's a remaster to Unreal 4 or Unreal 5. Oh, it's called Repop. It's coming out for the PS5, PC, Xbox Series, and then Switch. Oh, uh, yeah. Also, you don't play Lollipop Chainsaw for the gameplay. You play it for the wackiness. That's what you play it for. And to get the uh, upskirt achievement. Which here's the shadow. thing. I don't know if that's going to be a thing. They'll probably let you still do it. I just don't think it's going to be like achievement on the PlayStation, but like it's going to be an achievement in game. Because you know how some games, like ha in order to like properly reward you, they will have actual achievements in the game rather than like on the PlayStation, on PSN or Xbox or Steam? Mm -hmm. Yeah, that's all I think they might do because that way they don't have to shame you. They're gonna give you mercy. <laughs> the game was a solid, it's okay. Except for Destructoid, it's apparently really fucking horny. You gave it a 9 out of 10. Here's the thing, the game is okay. What, I, what I'm really hyped for is Shadows of the Dam. That's what I want to play. Also, how does the PS3 version of the same exact game score 3 points lower than the 360 version? You already know, the PS3... You already know, the PS3 was not exactly a powerhouse because of the way it worked. So, one up gave it a C minus. Destructo gave it a nine out of ten. Edge Magazine reviewed it on the PlayStation. Gave it a seven out of ten. So Doc, who do I? Paid for some of these. So Doc, who do I fuse to get fucking um so I can get um yes. Who do I fuse, Doc? You know it. Who do I fuse? You know, what I, you know what I find funny is that most people think history is like all of this important shit, when in reality it'll probably just be some dude named Grognar who wrote, oh, Steve was here or some shit. <laughs> some dude named Grognar that wrote Steve was here. No, Roman people actually did that. Uh, there's actual Roman graffiti, graffiti that we found that actually says that kind of shit. There was one that actually marked this guy's sex spot. Yeah, we know. We know that. Yeah, like, here's the thing. People think like graffiti is like... Oh, it's like there's something important. Maybe it's like some wise words from the past. Only reality is we just. Like to think our ancestors were way more wise than we were. They were just as horny and stupid. <laughs> Actually, even stupider. Like, for fuck's sake, the Romans used to have massive gay orgies. And oh my god, uh, 
Santa Neil, you joined at the funniest time. Santa Nayo. But yeah, it's just like, we put way too much respect on our ancestors. They're just as dumb as we are, if not even dumber. I mean, for fuck's sake, one of my did, ancestors may or may not. For fuck's sake, yes, we know Cleopatra is one of the smartest women in Egypt, but she's also the same woman that invented the vibrator. Who did? Cleopatra. <laughs> she invented the vibrator? I doubt it. No, she did. Apparently, she figured it out if you just get a bunch of pissed off bees and put them in like a jar. What? <laughs> Dude, no, I have to look this up. You're full of shit. No, You're I'm not gaslighting you. That's what I've heard. No, I refuse to believe that. Hang <laughs> on. Cleopatra. Vibrant. Sorry, Google history. <laughs> Cleopatra really credited with the first vibrator. All references to the story that mentioned this source. And they were a few. Wind back to via one route or another to Brenda's Love 1992 book, the Encyclopedia of Unusual Sex Practices, and a section of onomatopoeia entomophilia. Cleopatra said that have had a very small box that can be filled with bees and placed against her genitals for a simulation similar to that of vibrators. There are no ancient sources that touch up any claim remotely similar to this. If there are any archaeological finds that can be misconstru misconstrued this way, I have not found any evidence of them. Love cities, no love sites, no sources that allow the story to be traced back further. She mentions a block a few sentences later, but that's in connection with something else. So the above line seems to be the original source of the story. Whether or not love made it up as a result of an honest misunderstanding or not, I cannot say for sure, but it's completely unconnected to anything. Acutely attested in ancient sources that I'm not optimistic about her motives. TLDR, it's complete bullshit. The story was made up in 1992. Told you! No, and I'm pretty sure. Cause she, here's the thing she was also really smart. So. My source for that is a Reddit user that deleted their account. That's what I was reading. I don't know, man. Then like, that means that Redditor has lied, because here's the thing, usually when the Redditors have declined the lead, and you know they did something bad, even for Reddit standards, so... Normally, I still somehow have an account on Reddit. Yeah. Really well, yeah, because you never post. But the thing is, though, if they're getting deleted, that means they were lying for a reason, therefore it's true. They have, to, they have discovered that yeah. <laughs> Cleopatra has invented it. <laughs> okay, let's say she has done that. We haven't found any archaeological evidence to prove her. Well, yeah, no so shit. She had it in a box. This entire... Oh, yeah. But because we didn't find any archaeological proof, you can attribute this entire thing to the Schrodinger's cat paradox or the many universe paradox. Meaning there's a universe, since we don't know whether she did it or not, there's a universe where she did do it and a universe where she didn't do it. Hence the multiverse theory. I heard that. That is. Nah, that didn't come up either. You know what it is? You might have like moderate censorship on or something. Maybe. It's still showing up on screen though, so it's not like it's doing much. I was just trying to. I was just kidding to see how far I can push it. I want to get a monitor and turn it sideways, but at the same time, I don't. Because I know, like, there's some monitors that are 4K, like, like, less than $200, but right now I can't really spend much. You don't want a cheap 4K display, by the way, my man. You want a, uh, you're going to end up with an LED screen, and it's going to not have good contrast. Yeah, but here's the thing. I don't need it for, like, gaming purposes. I just need it for, like, chat and stream or OBS and stuff, things and such. Like, a lot of people swore by LED technology when it came out in, like, 2010. But LCD was still better, in my opinion. Oh, yeah. Yeah, he does have a badass voice. Which, speaking of, he co-starred in uh, Did You Know Gaming. And he did it for an SMT3 vid. Yeah. Uh, Search up SMT3 Did You Know Gaming featuring... Um, I forgot his name. And the thing is, and the thing is, though, it's like his voice is so smooth. That's the fucked up part. I love how Digino Gaming still thinks that Death Battle is essentially dead. 
Yeah, did you, here's the, did you know gaming actually has value? That's the thing. Whereas Death Battle, everyone knows Death Battle is... I'm gonna say biased. Still salty about Tifa I versus Yang. I forgot that Shin Megami Tensei was a spin-off of the novel. I wonder if they ever translated it English. Yeah, they did. It was from a mobile phone, but yeah. No, the novel. Yeah, they did. I, at least I think they did. Because the only reason I know that is because there's a guy called, a guy I watch called Marsh, and I think some people should watch him too. And he essentially did a whole video about like the, all the novels, all nine novels. Apparently, oh, okay, yeah, they did, because it has an ISBN number. Apparently, after the third book, things go to shit. Oh, it's a light novel. It's only has five chapters. What I meant to say is... Hang on. There we go, that's better. <sighs> Did it come with chat yet? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I'm straight in the curve line. That is one of my favorite gay jokes. Is this straight as a curved line? Oh god. That's how you call someone gay in the best manner possible. <laughs> how do you know that though? Like, what do you mean? Like, do I show signs? <laughs> what? Do I like what show? Do I show like signs or some shit? Like, what happened? Dude, I'm fucking with you. No, <laughs> I was talking about some. Oh. What? Why won't my car go straight? <laughs> <laughs> Good one. <laughs> No. So I remember this one very specific episode. You know this like old rusty barbecue grill that every car. Yeah. This absolute mad lad gets completely drunk, sticks his dick into one of them, and then goes to the ER saying, "I got my dick stuck in a park barbecue grill." <laughs> How the fuck? The I just remember this episode, and it's like, yeah, I can see why they never talk about that. The intrusive thoughts of one, I see. What do you mean intrusive thoughts? And he stuck his dick in a grill. I mean, he was drunk. Uh, yeah, he almost lost his dick. From strangulation. And nothing of value would have been lost. Last Bible set in Jerusalem? That's no shit, it's called Last Bible. It's called Last Bible, dude, no shit. Oh yeah, they did try and capitalize on Pokemon with Devil Children. It sucks, apparently. I don't play it. They even got an anime. It failed. It just wasn't marketable enough, you know? Because they realized Pokemon was a thing and they tried to compete with Pokemon only to fail miserably, even though SMT did everything Pokemon did first. Oh, we only got the second generation of the games. For devil kids? For devil, devil children? So we only got Gen 2 of those games, essentially. There is a Shin Megami Tensei card game that we never got in English. Fuck! Well, I mean, the game hasn't... Atlas hasn't really gotten popular until the 2000s, so... Atlas has mostly just been, uh... Japanese only company. Like, SST3 didn't sell that well when it came out either, but nowadays it's considered one of the greatest hidden gems of the PS2. Which one? This game, SST3. SST3 had a like, wide history of just games never coming over here. 
Yeah, we only mostly got main lines and persona spin-offs. And persona. Other than that, Let yeah. Let that old Xbox game get remade. It looks pretty dope. No, we're never getting it. We're just never gonna play Oh, the Xbox one looks really cool, though. Here's the problem. It's unfinished. Oh, it's unfinished. Uh, full of bugs. Not only that, oh, I don't... To... Okay, so it was supposed to be an MMO, but it never got finished. Right? Yeah, that was the point of it, but it just never worked out for Atlas. Of course it had four sales, you fuckers screwed on the Xbox! In the Japan! The Xbox if you throw anything on the Xbox in Japan, it's gonna fucking fail. Yeah, the Xbox just... doesn't sell over there at all. Yeah, how Xbox. is the console space in Japan right now? Because uh, mostly just the Switch is dominating. The Switch is dominating. What well, PlayStation's are? I don't know. Like uh, the Switch market is dominating Japan right now. It's a, it's insane. That explains why everything keeps coming to Switch. Which, speaking of, the remake for Sikihime came out recently, and I'm not getting on PlayStation because I know PlayStation probably censored some shit. Alright, so, three guys get captured and are gonna be eaten by cannibals. Pretty, oh, wait, no, I'm telling you wrong. Alright, so an American, a Japanese guy, and a French guy are about to be eaten by cannibals. And the cannibal's like, it's not that bad. You get to choose how you die. Then we make you a canoe. So the. So the French guy chooses to be shot in the head. The Japanese guy chooses to be chooses to get the uh, second food to death. And then the American asks for a fork, and he starts poking a bunch of holes in himself. And then the uh, cannibal's like, "What are you doing? You need to die!" And he's like, "Fuck your canoe." <laughs> Wait, I don't get it. Please tell me. You don't get it? No, not really. I was like, what? The American guy's poking holes in himself because to make the canoe sink. Oh. Because they're gonna make his in a canoe. Yeah. But yeah. We haven't recovered from that era in a while. And we still uh, aren't. We ever will. Because we're in that. Because now. Rage bait is now so common that it's really easy to find rage bait on the internet, and it sucks. Because I think at this point everyone's just tired of being angry. Cause it's like, why well, give a shit anymore? Yeah, rage. Bait. Yeah, that's the thing with rage bait. I just don't like. Cause I fell for it for hard hardlined sinker for a couple of years ago, and I was used to be a part of that crowd. Nowadays, it's like. These guys clearly don't give a shit about what they're saying. They're just doing it to piss you off. So, yeah, fuck them. <laughs> That's why I just started tuning off out of that. Because it was like, ugh. Okay, we're almost at the end of the first four. Kalpa, and then we can end stream after the Kalpa. Because I know what we need to do next. A struggle, but we'll make it. Uh, to the second Kalpa. We're almost done with the first Kalpa. It's the whole, pl the whole place is a goddamn puzzle. That's what it is. Smugness. Scuff of my finger. Wow, wow, wow! Wow! What to wanker? What to dingus? What to fucking dingus? There's the people. They're the side, yes. Back in the bank, right? 
back with Lucifer again. I see that you have braved the labyrinth of Amala and returned to Amala. I am confident that you will recover the remaining ones too. You must be cautious though. The fears that stole the Memorials are unique and extraordinarily powerful. Now that I think about it, this all started because of one man who caused the conception in the previous world. The conception. Because of it, the Vortex world was born, and Kagetsuchi is the source of power that illuminates this world. You, the Kagetsuchi, Magatsuchi. Kagetsuchi. Kagetsuchi. in this world without any Sun understanding. Yeah, the fire god. To show you my appreciation for returning to the world. A.K.A. Matarazu's brother who murdered his mother. Dang. Because of the fact he burned her JJ so bad she died. I would like to share with you my knowledge of the Vortex world. Starting with Kagutsuchi. Those whole things just pissed off the fire god. No, the fire god just gained power. And destroyed Kagutsuchi the world. Kagutsuchi is the light whose sole purpose is to empower the one who will oversee creation. Creation is the act of bringing a new world into existence, made possible by the annihilation of the old world. Hagutsuchi will then allow a life form of its choosing to determine the course of the new world. So the apocalypse, there must be those in Tokyo who yearn to be chosen by Kagutsuchi in order to realize their vision. The shape of the world to come depends on who is chosen and what their reason is. Oh yeah, I forgot. This game technically doesn't have a lot of chaos. It's technically what you believe in. Like, do you believe the world should be led by strength alone? Because of the fact you, those who are, are the strongest are basically rule the world? Or do you want to live in a world where everyone just minds their own business and just no one interacts with you? Or do you want, or do you want to live in a world where everyone does so? Where there is Did no individual, yeah. Where there is no individuality, no personality, everything's just the same. That's a hell. Yeah. So a world where strength rules all, a world where everyone leaves you alone, no matter what, and a world where everyone's the same. Yeah, all of them suck. <laughs> it's the apocalypse for a reason. Yeah. Then there's the only one good ending route, which is In the, the neutral vast route. Amala universe. This vortex world is not the only place where creation occurs. Hagutsuchi rises, matures, and falls in countless other places. Oh yeah, multiple universes, I forgot. Multiverse theory. My cat just looked at me like, you just kiss me? What the fuck, bro? Oh, oh, look at that! Apparently, this game does confirm multiverses. Look at that! There are millions of worlds that you are unaware of. Yeah. Yeah, well, he's fucking dead by the time 5 comes out. There's another reason I will not be playing SMT4. No, 4 Apocalypse is good. It's really good. It's just the final boss that's such bull. Because, um. Essentially, he does attacks that put basically every single one of your demons a low health, and it's super annoying unless so you like have... every other fucking enemy in that bullshit game. Yeah. No, for Apocalypse is much more balanced. It's four that you hate. For Apocalypse is different. It's a sequel, and it essentially has much better gameplay and improved like a lot of the mechanics of the first game. And yeah, it's just a really good game gameplay wise. But story wise, me to get for Apocalypse unless I'm running on the super legit 3DS that we have. Well, there's a new one out called Lemonade you can download for free. Lemonade, oh, I don't like lemonade, I'm Ferrari. Why is the world Because SMT creators love ending the world in general. Oh, no. no, the. Like, I feel like they get some kind of stick pick out of it. No, the world is essential. Like I said, the whole thing with SMT is reincarnation. That's always been a thing in every single game. Except Persona and main, uh, it's only in mainline though. Other games they do their own thing. You may be on the verge of a new answer, and it is your actions which hold the key. Please retrieve the remaining menorahs as soon as possible, and then return to us. 
My master has high hopes for you. The fall of so. angel has bestowed upon me a great strength. Do not lose your life and let this gift be in vain. Yes, I have become the Antichrist. Let's go. Yeah. And you're green. And you're green, right? Yeah. What's your point? Are... Are you a Yoshi? Yes, Goku. I'm a fucking green dinosaur. Can... Can I ride you? That's my favorite fucking gag for, for this episode. It's so fucking stupid. It's so funny, though. <laughs> I love how innocently Goku says it to you, like, Kit, can I ride you? <laughs> Alright, we're gonna need to get two menorahs now. Fiend, accomplice to the fallen angel. Do you know what cause you serve? Do you realize which path your actions are leading you down? I have watched your every move from above. Is coffee dead? You have been no. seduced by darkness. It's... Why don't we just collectively call him Coffee Dad now? No, I know Coffee Dad's voice. This is not Coffee Dad. When I get... Oh, you know what we'll do for my birthday when I get back? Yeah. We were gonna we are gonna play some Caffer on my end, because I want to get the good ending. Or the bad ending. I got the good ending already. I want to get the uh, Catherine the ending. And a human heart. I really want to get the trans Catherine ending, but I can't figure out how to do it. I don't know if it can stay neutral, complete that okay game. It's weird. I Google it. The problem is I know if I like, Google it since it's story based, I'll get spoiled. Like, you know how those are? Yeah. No, I want to deal with the devil. Did we ever play uh, that Pinocchio Dark Souls game? Rise of P, yeah. Oh, we did play Rise of Penis. Yeah, I kept going to Rise of Penis. Lies, lies of Penis. Yeah, Lies of Penis. You said Rise. Pinocchio's a puppet. He does not have a penis, so he's lying about it. Yes. Is it? it? Maybe you seem to get good. I have gotten good. I have beat the game on Grandmaster. Of course you have to show off. First of all, it's a Souls game. It's not a game. A Souls game needs to be hard by default. Because here's the thing: I, there's a game called Steel Rising, which is it fun? Yes. Is it hard? Fuck no. One it's thing just... that kind of disappointed me with it is I thought you were gonna fight a bunch of cool Sith bosses. Turns out there's one Sith boss in the entire game that keeps cock blocking you when you gotta fight. It. Uh, they changed that with Jedi Survivor. Uh, you fight a it's few of them. Kind of actually disappointing. You actually fight a few of them. It's Jedi Survivor. Well, considering the fact Jedi, the games. considering the fact what? Jedi Fallen Order was meant to be a Metroidvania, so my guess is the budget wasn't really that high. I know Fallen Order is essentially a spiritual successor to Force Unleashed, which fucking damn it, we need another Force Unleashed game. We're never gonna get it because it's a part of the Legends continuity. Ugh. Continuity, make another one. Ugh, I hate fucking Legends. Uh, Legends fucked up so much of the lore. It's not even Legends funny. Legends is amazing, dude. Dark Mode Legends could totally kill fucking canon Dark Mode. Yeah, Ball I know. Bare hands. I know. That's not the problem. It's the fact that it used to be canon, but now it's not anymore, and that's what makes me mad. Dude, you just need to read the good fucking Legends books, like Dark Mode. Oh no, I know. Oh, I know they're good. I know they are good. I'm just upset they're no longer canon because Disney made it uncanon before they were. Now they're and not. I don't care. I couldn't give a shit if they were canon or not. I just enjoyed them. Uh, I I recommend Death Troopers. A oh, really good dude. Book. Yeah, I want to read Death Troopers because the way you make it sound and from what I've heard from other people, it sounds really good. It is a zombie survival story set upon an Imperial Star Destroyer infected by a zombie virus. I have to read the prequel novel because it explains more of it. Yeah, anyways, now that we're here, we did the first, first Kalpa. Again, stream here. If you guys enjoyed the stream, please, and the new videos that are new, please, I would appreciate it if you subscribed. We're gonna re almost at 150 subs, just five more subs, so that means just find more people. And then we're gonna do the all nighter. And essentially, and I already have something special plan for that because I explained the beginning of the stream. And for those that are watching after the stream, like and subscribe if you think I'm worthy of your time, and like the video stream if you think you enjoyed it. And comment it if you really want to say something nice to me or say some shitty things about me. And tomorrow uh, we're either gonna 
I'm either gonna stream Assassin's Creed or Dark Souls. Assassin's Creed, or I'll just take my turn with another Nuzlocke. Assassin's Creed or Dark Souls, either or. Either or, and that'll be my final time live for a while. Yes. After that, this will happen. <laughs> <laughs> for a good for a good couple months <laughs> probably till next year listen uh my death note isn't working right i keep writing japan lover 79 and it just keeps saying invalid name you gotta put your real name because you're not a japan lover anymore after all you don't watch anime anymore dude i just haven't been interested in anime lately just, just keep getting fucking isekais or like really shit stuff and the good stuff's not coming back out until like two years down the line yeah that's what makes it good because you get to siphon through all the trash to find the gems that's usually the case but i can't wait for oh speaking of good shit i can't wait for the winter and season for the final season of beast stars chat if you haven't seen beast stars because you think it's some furry thing also go fucking watch beast stars uh, you can thank me later i also have a new recommendation for you, you ever heard of chicken fighter I have not. It's amazing. It's basically just a mutated chicken throwing hands. That's sick. And it's not I like, oh, it's a humanoid chicken. Hair. It's just literally just a chicken. That's basically what happened. It's just a chicken doing its thing, kicking ass. It's not a humanoid chicken. It's just a regular chicken. Oh, we still live? Yeah. Oh, no, we are. Anyway, you forgot Jack, to, have a great night. You forgot to do your shameless plug. Oh, that. Anyway, follow me on Japan Lumber 79 on my YouTube or on my other socials. And uh, if we get, if I get my channel to 100 subs, this man's making me play fucking Dark, not Dark Souls, SMT4. Yes, so you better get it ready, motherfucker. <laughs> so, see you guys for tomorrow. And say goodbye to JP tomorrow. So, bye-bye. I'll be throwing my early retirement party. I'll turn 30 early, damn it. <laughs>